What's up, boys? I hope to God no one comes out with a message to me in my messages in my DM box one day telling me, "Oh yeah, I found your channel." That would be probably one of the most em man. That would probably be the most embarrassing thing I could possibly imagine. Someone finding out, finding out about this channel. I hope to God no one finds out this about this channel. I hope to God none of my videos go viral. I just did like the 10, 20 view mark. That sounds good. Yeah, 10, 20 views. I don't want to make money off this shit. Because then it's incentive to make more videos and keep grinding and da 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 You get swept up in the rhythms of the business in, in the YouTube. in the All that shit. I don't like that. I don't like that. At all. I want to keep it. Maybe a small community. Like a, a tight knit community of 50 to 100 people at most. But then if we, if we reach the 100 people mark. That's when, especially on YouTube, it starts blowing the fuck up, which I'm quite worried for. Is that why is that podcast segment? Okay, I'm not a podcaster. Sure. So I just hope to God this channel doesn't get viral because I'm immensely terrified of anyone coming at me telling me, "Yeah, I found your channel. Oh, wow, great video, it's Jimmy." I don't care if it's good or negative uh, reception. I don't care. I just don't want anyone to see this channel, which is quite weird. I'm uploading the videos at the moment, and you guys will be able to see the videos soon. And I intensely dislike it when the views can't go up. I intensely dislike it. And the thing with this, I'm weirdly chasing this comfort with this. It's kind of weird. I feel kind of happy. Am I a masochist? Fuck's wrong with me. Anyways, I'm weirdly happy when it comes to this because. Any growth in YouTube, I'm growing the YouTube channel, I'm doing this, doing that. It just, ah, oh man, I feel. <sighs> okay, okay, no problem. I just want to make a bunch of money and be chill, and then after. I just, when I look at myself with the camera, especially as well, I'm not happy with my reflection. Especially with my fat here and in my face here, I'm quite fat in my face. And when I see myself, my fat self in the video, I get immensely uncomfortable with how the way I look. Even though that's what people see anyway, so they're not going to do a change about that. Apart from exercising and working out and being in a caloric deficit, that's about it. But still, I'm a fucking weirdo, man. I hope to God that these videos go viral. Don't share these videos. Do not share these videos with your friends. Don't like and subscribe. Dislike even. Push your dislike. Put you. Put your channel like backwards. No. Because Justin Bieber's video will dislike. So any reception is good reception when it comes to YouTube. Uh, don't dislike. Don't like. Don't subscribe. Watch the video. Uh, maybe leave a comment. No, leave a comment. Might make my channel go popular. I, I, I get zero views. I get no one watches me. But I'm intensely worried about my consistency with, consistency with YouTube. And how that will lead to someone watching me. And, that how, and how that will lead to a fan base being created. Because I'm an introvert. Especially online, I, in, in, in real life I'm an extrovert, but online I'm an introvert, I'm reverting back to my natural self because this thing is like, it's kind of like, I see it's something new and different, it's hard trying to navigate something new and different and I'm quite satisfied when I upload videos but then I also feel nervous at how they get received by people, it's, oh man it's weird, it's weird, a lot of thoughts rush through my brain and I'm still, I'm recording this video, and like I made another video before while I still record videos despite being nervous while doing them because I don't remember exactly what I said in that video because it's a while back now. Like I feel like a week ago or something. About a week ago, a week ago. But the reason why I do this is because I want to get out of my comfort zone. I want to get in a place where I'm constantly challenging myself and trying to grow thereafter. Make a YouTube channel, putting yourself on YouTube isn't easy. You get hate no matter what you do. I see I see Floyd May Mayweather get hate. I see Conor McGregor get hate. I see Mike Tyson get hate. I see everyone get hate. Everyone gets scrutiny. Everyone gets some shit. And me getting shit is just a part of the process. It's just is what it is. And you can say that's cope. Sure. Up to you. Depends on how you say it. But I just see it as a way to. What do they mitigate? It is kind of cope, isn't it? Fuck, man. I'm missing my zero view count. L, man. So anyways. <laughs> oh, man. So I can't guess the I have nothing else to say. I have another goal: make some money. Drop shipping, you know, gaji, video editing. Next, bye bye.